Let's go over the BTWB home screen. This new iteration of the home screen is going to be cleaner and simpler than ever before. Um, at the very top of the screen, you'll notice three different numbers there. Uh, the first one is going to be your total sessions count. So as you log scores to workouts on BTWB, that number will change. Uh, the second is your total badges earned count. And the third is going to be your fitness level. Now, the fitness level will either be a number, the way that you see it there, or if you haven't unlocked it yet, you'll see a series of lock icons um, indicating how many more categories you'll need to add data to before ultimately revealing your fitness level. You can click into each of those three to get more information um, by actually visiting those specific screens. You can also click on your actual profile image to visit your profile screen. And from here, you can edit your profile, you can view some recent activity, um, and you can also take a look at your followers as well as who's following you from the screen. So back on the home screen here, the next section down, we've got three different progress bars. And the idea behind these progress bars is to give you a nice snapshot of how the current month is going. All right, each of the dots and each of those bars represents a single day in that month. Okay, and the yellow dots there will represent today. So you can see exactly um, how much of the month has passed and how much of the month is still remaining. The top bar is your training days bar. The middle bar is your nutrition days bar. And the bottom bar is your feel good days bar. Now the training days bar gets updated once you log a score for that day. So all you need to do is log a result. Um, when you do that, you'll get a red check mark for that, um, representing that day of the month. It doesn't matter if you log five workouts or if you log one workout. We're just looking for a single logged workout, which will earn you that check mark for that uh, progress bar. Now the next two bars, the nutrition days bar and the feel good days bar, are directly related to the lifestyle questions we have down here located in the fitness tab each day. Okay, now ans good answers to these questions will add the check mark to those progress bars. Bad answers won't add the check mark to the progress bars. So you'll see here, as I answer good for both of those, that one, the questions disappear. So those will disappear um, automatically as you add them and they'll reappear the next day and each day after that. So it's just as simple as opening up your app for the first time each day and answering those questions real quick. But then also you'll notice that the, that the check marks for both of those graphs have been updated up here on the actual bars themselves. All right, now you can also click into each of these bars, which will take you to a year's view for each of those items. So right now we're looking at the training days calendar here. I get to see a nice bird's eye view of the entire month or the entire year rather. And I can switch over here at the top over to my nutrition days. And again, this is going to be based on answers to that lifestyle question. And then also the feel good days. So you can kind of see a bird's eye view too here of how your feel good days, your nutrition days, and your training days are kind of all lining up. Back on the home screen, the rest of this um, screen is devoted to two different tabs, the fitness tab and the body composition tab. And the, the reason for that is these are the two most important components of your fitness journey, all right? Your workouts and how those workouts are affecting your body composition and the goals that you might have for yourself. So in the fitness tab, this is gonna be all about your workouts, all right? So based on this week calendar here, you can select a day to reveal the workouts programmed for that day below. So as I kind of click back and forth here through some of the days, this will be Wednesday the 23rd here, I get to see everything programmed for that day. All right, now you can also expand this calendar. So if I click on the down arrow over here, I can reveal the entire month at a time. Now this is another way to kind of view your training days and your nutrition days specifically um, in more of a bird's eye view here. So you can see the key right there representing the training days and the nutrition days. The training days is gonna be that, that reddish, pinkish color and the good nutrition days will be that purple color. 
And then ultimately when they when you stack the two of them, when you have both of those on the same day, it turns into that even darker purple color there. And you can use this calendar, the back arrows here, to navigate to previous months. Clicking into any of those days will reveal the workouts that were planned today, as well as any results you've actually logged for that day. All right, so let's go back to the current day, 21st. And down below, what you're going to see are the different tracks that you follow. So I follow performance wads and fitness wads at my gym. Clicking one of those open reveals the actual workouts program to them. For any given workout, you're going to see the title, the description here. You're also going to see these movement GIFs that are automatically attached to the to the work the movements themselves in the workout. All right, so those are auto added um, by BTWB each time. Gives you a nice visual representation of of what the workout um, is going to look like is actually composed of. And you can actually click into each of those GIFs to visit your personal movement page. So this will be my toes the bar page, recent history, some statistics, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. So if I come back here, a couple of other things about this, um, these workouts specifically is if there are any extra instructions added by your coach, um, you can expand those here via the extra instructions uh, down arrow. You can also collapse those again. And then if you've done this workout before, we're going to automatically pull in your previous result. And so that's what you see here. I have a previous score. So I can click into that to actually visit the uh, session when I did it. If I left any notes, I could read those notes here, maybe use those as um, a way to kind of strategize this next go at it so that I can potentially set a new personal record. And then you've got your different action items for each of these workouts. Okay, and so here's where you can log a score. Here's where you can view the results for this workout and in a non-leaderboard uh, fashion. This will just be kind of a feed, a running feed of results. Then you have the actual leaderboard and also the prepare button to show you some history with some of these movements, history with this workout, and a percentile slider you can use to strategize. Finally, if I open up my my final uh, track there at the bottom, the fitness wads track. If there are any videos attached to these workouts, you'll see those videos pop up. Um, YouTube links specifically will pop up right there um, with that video thumbnail. And if there's multiple videos attached, you can do a simple side scroll there to view the other ones. Now, if we come back up to the tabs and we click over to the body composition tab, this is where you're gonna keep track of your current weight um, and potentially your progress towards a goal that you've set. So you can see um, this is all about have you set a goal, what were you starting at, what's your current weight, um, and what is that goal and, and how much longer do you have until um, it's time to retest for that goal. All right. Now you can click on any of these to update that section. So for the starting weigh-in here, you see I've got this um, post from 2007, one of my original weigh-ins. If I click into weigh-in history, it'll pull up all of my previous weigh-ins. Um, so I can choose one of those to be my starting weight if I wanted to. All right, so let's go back. Um, you can see the current weigh-in right here in the middle. This is just your most recent weigh-in, and if you don't have one currently, you can use the weigh-in button down here in the bottom right-hand corner to log a new weigh-in. It'll update that current item on your progress, um, body composition progress. All right, let's go back. And then finally, we've got a target. So you'll have the opportunity to set a new target. Um, and here's where you set a date, you adjust the weight, you can pick some body composition too to go along with that weight target. Okay, and then we just save that and it'll update that component, the target component there. This section will also remind you if you haven't weighed in for two weeks, but it'll also show, your, show you your progress um, towards your target along the way. And then finally, on the home screen, at the very bottom here, we have some navigation um, menu items. Um, the home button will always bring you back to the screen. The bell icon will reveal any notifications, um, you know, comments, emojis, other people are, are sending your way. 
the big plus button in the middle will allow you to log um, things like weigh-ins, uh, new workouts, journal entries, etc., etc. And then the little squiggly line icon here is your activity feed icon. And this is where you can keep up to date on some of these different groups that you're a part of, where you can, you know, watch um, reverse chronological feeds of various um, posts other users on BTWB are making, and you can interact with them accordingly. And then finally, the little dialogue, the little chat bubble icon that we have over here in the bottom right is your di direct messages um, feature. So this is where you can chat back and forth with specific members or specific groups of members. All right. And remember, the home button icon always brings you back to the home screen. Um, in the top right hand corner, we do have a search option. So this is where you can search BTWB for movements, workouts, people and some media that we're featuring. And then finally, everything else, all the analysis, all of those, you know, settings, all of those other things that used to be on our old home screen have now been tucked away into the side drawer menu over here. So you'll still have access to all of them, but we've taken them off of the home screen to kind of clean that up a bit. Um, but that doesn't mean those features have disappeared. You'll just have to come in to the side screen here um, or the side menu here to know what you're looking for to click on that to gain access to those.